Our names are Rebecca and Josh Tickell. We're filmmakers, and our specialty is making films about the environment. In 2010, we made a movie called The Big Fix about an oil spill that happened in Louisiana. While filming that movie, I was exposed to a toxic chemical dispersant. <coughs> My health suffered considerably, and I had skin rashes and other problems. Doctors said that I may even have problems conceiving or bearing children. In spite of the warnings, we decided to try to have kids anyway. Even knowing the risks didn't make it any less devastating when I had a miscarriage. My love, little person that gets you as dad is very lucky. Really? <laughs> now she's looking at you. Oh, she oh. lifted her hand. Oh my God, that's so... <gasps> when we got pregnant with our daughter, the doctor said there was a birth defect and there was a chance she wouldn't make it. I love you, Athena. <laughs> Miraculously, she was born healthy and happy. But for two years, she had chronic sicknesses. And we were in and out of hospitals almost constantly. So we decided to look at all of our options. And nothing was off the table. Call your doctor if your depression worsens or if you have unusual changes in behavior or thoughts of suicide. Symptoms of a serious allergic reaction may include itching, rash, or difficulty breathing. Tell your doctor if you get experience. New or worsening cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, diarrhea, severe stomach pain, or tenderness. The dichotomy between alternative and traditional medicine is a false one. So first off, what we have to talk about is what exactly is CBD? There are some natural doctors out there who literally claim they know everything. So they're telling you about vaccinations, they're telling you about everything that you should do. I think you need to be very cautious as a consumer of healthcare. There are medical doctors out there who offer some of this hocus, yes. I'll call it hocus pocus. Yes. Virtual dolphin therapy. It's the most relaxing experience you can ever have. Snake massage therapy. <laughs> Urine therapy. And the only thing I can do is to drink my own pee. Finally, a friend gave us a copy of the book called Earthing. The premise? By planting your bare feet on the ground, your body will begin to heal itself. Could such a simple thing help our daughter get better? It sounded too easy. We were skeptical. And as it turns out, we weren't the only ones. Please welcome Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> There are a couple of things, and I've written them down here. For instance, tell us about earthing. What is earthing? Er oh, okay. It's kind of, they say that we've lost touch with sort of being barefoot in the earth and that there's some type of electromagnetic thing that we're missing. And that is so true. It's good to take your shoes off and walk in the grass. Okay. I don't know what the <laughs> we talk about. <laughs> so we decided to consult the experts. In simple terms, Grounding is literally putting your bare feet on the ground. When you do that, you're in contact with the Earth, and Mother Earth is endowed with electrons. And these electrons are literally absorbed through your feet. It's like taking handfuls of antioxidants, but you're getting it through the feet. Grounding means connecting to the Earth to support the specific function of the organs of your body. It supports the body as a whole, but it specifically supports organ systems down to the tissues and the cellular function of the entire body. Grounding provides a steady 
we call it a ground plane. It's like lying naked on the earth. But where I come from in the winter, you can't do that. All the systems in the body, all of them that we've measured, and we've measured just about everything you can think of, everything goes to balance, to normal, when you're grounded. The man who started the grounding, a.k.a. earthing movement, is Clint Ober. Well, Clint, I mean, we're, first of all, we're super honored to have you here. You know, your book has been everywhere and everyone has been telling us about it. It's kind of a phenomenon and it's also kind of hard to believe. I have to confess, when I first heard about earthing, I was super skeptical. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, is that a common reaction that you get from people? Yes. And I was myself. It took me 20 years to dig this out of the dirt and get it to the world. And I questioned it all the way because it just didn't make sense. And what is the main reaction you get from people when they get this information? The response has been pretty much uh, a lot of skepticism, which it, because it sounds absurd. How can I just take my shoes off, put my feet on the ground, and reduce inflammation? Because the world has been about everything from oatmeal to blueberries to you name it. It's one of those things you can talk until you're blue in the face, but until you experience it, you're not going to believe it. But once you experience it, then uh, the biggest trouble you have is trying to explain it to somebody else. So a lot of the naysayers, I mean, they, like most of the guys say, well, if this were true, I would have known about this. I would have uh-huh. heard about this. Somebody would have told us this. This can't be something brand new that we don't know about. And I just say, I'm sorry, it is something something new. I mean, something we accidentally, we accidentally disconnected from the earth. Being there for everybody to be able to wear shoes, inexpensive shoes, that was a real advancement. Um, but on the other hand, nobody knew the consequence or the side effects of, of um, losing our ground, losing our electrical ground with the planet. I grew up around Native American people, primarily the Cheyenne and the Crow. My dad died when I was quite young, but I remember even before he died, we didn't have a lot of money or a lot of material things. But in the Native American culture, it was very interesting that nobody owns anything. You can't own land. You can't own trees. How can you own this? And then there was an event where one of my friend's sister, a little Indian girl, had, I believe it was scarlet fever. She'd been to the doctors and all that kind of stuff, and she wasn't getting well. And they brought her home, and there was nothing they could do for her, but everybody was real traumatized by it. I remember one of the elders, they dug a pit. And put a little bit of straw in it, whatever. And they put her in the in the ground on the earth. Built a fire there and just sat with her for like days. Next thing we knew, she was up running around. She was okay. (laughs) It was just awesome, just totally awesome. 